I want to welcome you to uh, this uh, event. I'm Michael Nelson. I'm an optometrist at Waverly Eye Care Center here in Winnipeg. And it's uh, good to have you participate in our uh, webinar. So uh, as always, it's good to set out what the goals we want to accomplish in the next 15 minutes. Uh, basically, a few uh, goals that we want to do. One is I want to want you to learn what flashes and floaters are. I want you to learn what the symptoms uh, could mean to you. And I want you to learn what you should do if you do have these symptoms. So I hear and I talk about uh, these symptoms every day and, and I sometimes forget that others do not. So for that reason, I uh, thought it was a good idea to kind of describe what these symptoms are of flashes and floaters and what they look like. So flashes are exactly what they sound like. Uh, they're a bright momentary flash of light in your vision. Uh, that you, can, you can't really associate with any other known light source. And they are often off to the side, but they can be anywhere in your line of sight. And flashes are not typically normal. Floaters are semi-transparent particles, and they can look like lint or dust or, or amoeba that are floating around in your vision. They will often slosh around as you move your eye about. So if you turn your eye to one direction, they'll kind of follow in that direction. And they are more apparent against a bright uniform background like a sky or snow or a computer screen. And floaters are a normal phenomenon and often people will have them and notice them. And change, but changes in your floaters are not normal. If we talk about differential diagnosis, so when a patient comes in and they tell us that they have symptoms of flashes or floaters, there's a list of conditions that we are thinking about and that we're gonna to try to rule out. But today, I'm gonna to be basically focusing on the top two. The first one is vitreous detachment and the second one, retinal detachment. And these are the two most common ones and the most concerning ones that we have when we think about flashes and floaters. And that's what I'm gonna be focusing on today. So before we go any further, we're gonna go back to grade nine uh, anatomy class and we're gonna talk a little bit about eye anatomy just so we're all on the same page. So you can think about your eyeball as a camera and uh, basically a couple main features. We've got the cornea, which is a clear tissue on the front. You got the iris, which is the uh, colored part of the uh, eye. And then you got the lens and those, uh, the iris and the, and the lens and, and the cornea, they will help focus the image on the back of the eye. On the back of the eye, you have the retina. So the retina is the lining of the eyeball. That's like the film of the camera. But the area, the area that we're gonna mainly be talking about is this big blue area inside the eyeball, and that's called the vitreous. And when you think about the vitreous, I want you to think about, um, it, it's basically a, a clear jelly inside. And what I want you to think of the vitreous as, I want you to think, about, think of it as a clear water balloon filled with clear jelly. And then I want you to imagine that that water balloon, we've taken some crazy glue and we're gonna use that glue and we're gonna glue that um, balloon onto the walls of the retina to kind of hold that water balloon into place. And that's the kind of normal anatomy of the eyeball. And so with no, the normal um, aging of the eye, people will develop what we call a vitreous attachment. And this is perfectly normal. And this is where an area of that water balloon will pull away from the retina and release from those areas where it was crazy glued on. And I'm gonna to just toggle back and forth here. So you can see here's the normal where it's attached, here's where it's uh, separate, starting to separate. And so you can see that's the normal process of, of a vitreous detachment. So think of it as that water balloon, those uh, attachments of crazy glued attachments, those are becoming separated from the retina and that will happen naturally. And there's a rule of thumb out there of when that occurs and they say the general rule of thumb is that the chance of a vitreous detachment, that's separating away from the retina, is equal to your age. So the, the chance of it at happening in any given year is equal to your age. So when that vitreous does detach, you're gonna get some symptoms. And here's another picture, another schematic of, of that happening. And uh, it's showing the, the vitreous is separating away from the retina. And there's two main symptoms that you're gonna be getting when that 
that process happens are flashes and floaters. So first of all, let's talk about floaters. And you can see in this diagram, there's some floaters drifting around in the vitreous. And these are clumps of that jelly that are a little bit less transparent. It could be areas that were attached to the retina and now they're free floating or other clumps. And basically they're a little bit less transparent. And when light comes in, it casts a shadow onto the retina and you'll, you will perceive it as a floater. And when an eye doctor looks inside your eye, either with uh, some lenses or with a camera, we can actually physically see these floaters in your eye. The second symptom that you get is flashes. And the flashes will occur when um, basically there's an area that's attached to the retina and it's trying to separate. And you can see this arrow is demonstrating that. It's trying to pull away from the retina. And every time it pulls away from the retina, it, it pulls on the retina, it tugs on the retina, and it stimulates some of the nerve fibers, and that sends a signal back to the brain and causes a flash of light. And so that will cause a flash of light. And so that's what's going on here. Every time one of those, uh, one area is pulling, we call it, uh, our uh, medical term is traction, when it's pulling on the retina. Now, you'll notice that I said a vitreous detachment is completely normal. And so the concern is, what is, what is the concern if that's happening? Well, the concern is 90% of the time when someone's developing a retinal, uh, sorry, a vitreous detachment, these attachments that are glued onto the retina, they'll separate cleanly uh, from the retina and there won't be a problem. But one out of 10, 10% of the times, when it pulls away, You'll, you will get a, a problem, you'll get a retinal tear, and that is not good. So what happens when, a, when that is going on is that the vitreous is so tightly adhered to the retina in certain spots that instead of pulling away cleanly, it'll cause a little tear in the retina. And uh, what can then happen when you get a tear in the retina is that you it allows an opening and then fluid can start to get underneath the retina and start separating the retina. So you can develop a tear and that can develop into what we call a retinal detachment where the retina is pulling away um, from the back of the eye. And that's very, very bad. And so the, uh, if this starts to develop, if, there, if we notice that there's a tear or if we notice that there's a retinal detachment, that's something that a retinal specialist we'll need to see you urgently. We'll usually send the patient the same day or the next day, and they'll need to get that repaired, either using a, a laser to seal up around the, the tear so it doesn't spread, or some if it's a, a detachment, then it will require a surgery, surgical procedure to fix it. So the key points of the of this is that when you get symptoms of flashes and floaters, more often than not, that will in indicate a vitreous detachment and not a retinal detachment. However, 10% um, of the time you will have a tear or a break and the symptoms are the same. When you have flashes and floaters, the symptoms won't indicate whether there's a tear or not. The only way to know if there's a tear or not is for an eye doctor to take a look inside your eye and see if there's a break or tear and examine. And that's why the, it's, it's important to have these examined. Another real key point, uh, point that I uh, talk to my patients about when we're having these vitreous detachments process is this process will often take a few months for it to occur. And so when I see a patient for the first time when they have the symptoms, like I said, more often than not, we don't see a tear or a break. So then we have this exact same conversation that I'm having right now with you uh, about what the risks are involved and what the process is happening inside their eye. and but I warn them that likely that, that they have a partial vitreous detachment. And this diagram shows this very, very well here. So basically you can see there's an area where it's separated from the, the vitreous is separated from the retina, but there's other areas where it's still attached. And so I can see you one day and I see no tears and you, the next day, this area here that was attached could cause a tear and a break and you could develop a problem that we need to get you seen. For. So I will counsel my patient and tell my patients that if they're noticing that their symptoms are staying the same or improving, then, then they can hold tight. But if they have any sense that symptoms are getting worse, increased number of floaters, increased size of floaters, uh, increased flashing, uh, shadows or, or cloudiness in the vision, anything that they suspect is happening, even if it's the next day, I want them to call me to make, and I'll take another look to make sure that there is uh, not a tear. Because if there is a tear that can be uh, develop a retinal detachment, and that can be quite catastrophic. So in summary, 
Um, basically, if you're developing flashes and floaters, we consider that an urgency. And what it's important to know is what those symptoms are. And this is one of those conditions that you don't want to wait. You don't want to wait a week and, oh, I'll see if these go away. I'll see if they get better. If you notice flashes or floaters, call your eye doctor right away. And um, when you call and you tell them those symptoms, almost every eye doctor will probably get you in that same day or the next day to take a look at that. And then the next thing, if you've seen your eye doctor and you're noticing flashes and floaters and they said, okay, everything looks okay, but if you're noticing your symptoms are changing, particularly over the next few months, or if it happens in the other eye, don't assume everything that you know what's going on. Call your eye doctor as well. Let them take another look. Make sure that there's new tears that haven't developed that weren't there uh, to start with. So that's a little summary of vitreous detachments and uh, the symptoms of flashes and floaters. So if you develop these symptoms, make sure you call your eye doctor and get it looked at. And I would uh, like you, thank you for uh, participating. And it's been uh, great uh, to have you um, with our webinar today.